What's going on? How are you guys this week? Another day down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Another day in the main stage city for the New World Order, but I'm used to it by now. So, uh, some of you guys might have seen the farm vlog yesterday. Couldn't find anyone to process uh, the local beef we were looking to do, so I don't think that's going to happen for a few months. <laughs> I uh, ran out of cheese last week and all my meat distributors were out of the stuff I needed, so sales uh, were down pretty badly, but Hopefully we can bounce back a little this week and uh, I won't have to start cutting up cows in my backyard anytime soon. In good news, we ordered the control panel for the dehydrator, which should be coming in within two weeks from our Chinese brethren. And we have the pemmican available. All right, so we opened up one of the pemmicans for you guys. Nothing really special to look at. It smells a lot like blueberry on honey and it does have a very pronounced blueberry flavor because we did use super high quality organic freeze dried blueberry powder. So uh, the texture is pretty solid, you know, it's not going to melt or, or fall apart on you. It's nice. I mean, it's, it really is the perfect survival food. It's not super sweet. It's just like subtly sweet. I think this is something that, you know, kids would really like a lot. It's just like the perfect meat candy bar. So let me know how you guys like this. I don't know how you guys are going to buy it compared to the best bars, you know, which, you know, we have the, the berry, the vanilla, the chocolate, but since we only have one type of pemmican for now. I honestly, I think the sales of the pemmican, even though there's only one type, might outweigh all of the other ones, just because I know a lot of you guys don't want like dairy in your diet. So we'll see how that goes. So I'll list the pemmican on frankiesfreerangefoods.com at the top of the page. I'm gonna put the price a little high because I have a limited stock right now and I think you guys are just gonna buy it all and I'm not gonna be able to catch up. Uh, same with the water kefir. You guys bought all of the water kefir last week and I really, uh, <laughs> If, if I put the prices like low at what I want them to be, I just, I can't keep up with the man. So I don't know. I don't really want to complain about my inability to get the cuts of meat you guys want, but every week it's something else. I run out of something. I lose customers. Uh, the big one recently has been lamb brains. And even though we have the, the freeze dried brain powder on organsupplements.com, I have a lot of stuff I need to look at in the freezer. Uh, I took Friday off because I was really exhausted and I was trying to get some sun. Saturday, I come down here to work a little bit. Sunday, I was up at that farm. I was actually gonna come down to work yesterday to catch up on some stuff. And that, that farmer emailed me in the morning. I said, you know what? Let me take the drive upstate. I'll visit the farm instead. So I just gotta go in the freezer and make sure that the inventory on a couple of items is correct and see if we can do a sale item this week. We did get uh, the meat delivery from last week. That was delayed. We're gonna have some sirloin steaks back in. Brisket is back in, petite tender lamb shank, lamb legs, and some diced lamb. So uh, none of the beef that I've been trying to get, but hopefully uh, within two or three weeks, I'm a little bit happier with what we have right now. So, uh, I mean, I'm feeling okay today. Uh, I took magnesium and I I've known for the past year or two that I've had a magnesium deficiency. It's just, if I take the magnesium, I get insomnia. So uh, that's what happened last night. And I, I, gotta, I gotta eventually take it to the point where the insomnia stops, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I'm gonna actually drink some water kefir so I get drunk and I'm actually not as irritated to be down here. <laughs> we'll have some water kefir, we'll have some dried apples and beef jerky, and then uh, we'll, we'll go in the freezer, we'll do the inventory, and then I'll go downstairs and I'll do some work for organ supplements. Uh, so my guys just finished their lunch break. I'm half drunk off water kefir, so I'm somewhat competent. Uh, they finished most of the orders, or they finished all the orders we had before 11. And then we just printed out the orders that were placed yesterday, which was about 30 more. So as I mentioned earlier, a bit lower order volume this week. My guys are all finished so we can just catch up on the stuff we didn't get to do last week, as well as make some more pemmican, do the water kefir stuff. Uh, so I guess we could take a quick look through the freezer and then, uh, and then maybe we'll look around downstairs a little bit. So I feel like I show you guys the same shit every week. So I'll just show you the new stuff. We got lamb shanks in. These are approximately two pounds each. We got the boneless lamb leg back in. These are six pounds each. And I have like one customer that just buys all of these. So um, it's whatever. And we got some more of the bone, bone in leg of lamb as well, except the new ones are about seven pounds. So they're really, really big. More of like a centerpiece for, um, more of like a centerpiece for Thanksgiving. Those new ones are right here. A lot bigger, seven, seven pound leg of lamb. I think this week we're gonna give away some of these strip steaks. Uh, maybe we'll give away one sh New York strip steak with each order. I think these are about 12 ounces each. So keep an eye out for that. 
I mean, it's looking kind of barren in here, but I'll try to restock a little bit. This is the Bavette steak. It's really nicely portioned. I got to see if I have that stocked up. I don't know why you guys aren't buying it. As I said, we got the pemmican. I'm going to restock some water key for today. Whey protein, flextrose, salt, best bars. We got everything on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Frankie's Naturals, we have everything in stock. We have the clay shampoo, the lip balm, the tooth powder, hair pomade, moisturizing cream, as well as deodorant, which I have to make some more of. Wi-Fi shielding, everything is in stock. Tank tops, underwear, hats. We have a limited amount of head nets available, I think, and we're also running low on bed canopies. And I will try to get some winter clothes samples. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do them. Organ supplements, everything is stocked up. We have selenium, iodine, our antioxidant support, which is a very expensive blend of glutathione, NAC, coenzyme Q10, and vitamin C. We have our trace minerals blend, which is boron, manganese, and molybdenum. These are the main minerals that you lack on a carnivore diet. Vitamin B complex, magnesium, copper glyconate, and vitamin D3. I've talked about these in the past before, all very, very unique supplements that you can't really get half of them anywhere else. And we're pretty well stocked up on the bovine powders as well. We have the male virility for testosterone. We have digestive enzymes, which is pancreas. We have the third eye, which is the brain glandulars, the pituitary, hypothalamus, and pineal. We have big brain, which is just brain powder. And uh, guys, I'm not gonna be able to get the veal brains for at least a month and maybe not the lamb brains until next year. So this is all we have, and this is a limited stock. So we're probably gonna run out within a month. Immune strength, which is the uh, thymus and the lymph nodes, full spectrum organ blend, which is the liver, brain, heart, kidney, spleen, pancreas, basically kind of all the main larger organs on the animal. And then we have a couple things that need to be organized down here. We have the macronutrient enzyme blend, the carnivore enzyme blend for digestion of proteins mainly, thyroid support, liver, we have heart, and we have kidney. So everything's really in stock on organ supplements, and I'm just going to organize this a little more. Female fertility is up there and, and get everything together hopefully by the end of this week. I mean, things are kind of coming together for me to kind of escape New York for the winter at least, kind of let the businesses go, hopefully make some profit, but... You know, with me paying all these employees now, the uh, profit margin is not looking too good, which is why I kind of have all these other businesses, because basically the meat business seems to be breaking even right now, and the income from all the other stuff is kind of just kind of funding it too. So we'll see. Next year, maybe hopefully we can get a farm property and, and get things more profitable. It's just, you know, if everything worked well with the distributors and I was able to just source everything consistently every week, Maybe I wouldn't be complaining so much, but we're going to get the cheese in stock this week. I'm going to get as much meat in stock as possible from these vendors. And uh, main thing though, we're launching the pemmican. Hopefully in two or three weeks we can launch the jerky. These are going to be two really big things that might uh, give me that little push I need to keep going. But uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. So you can see all of my businesses on frank Frankie's Free Range Meat, of course, the main one. Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi Shielding. Uh, so if you guys want to continue to support me, I do appreciate it. I mean, it's been a while now. It's been, you know, almost over five years on YouTube and a couple years of doing these businesses. And I still feel like uh, I'm not at the point that I want it to be. I, I, I said it before, guys, like I anticipated at this point in time to have had enough money to, to not have to be doing YouTube videos every day myself, to not have to be killing myself every day down here. But whatever. Um, you know, I, I was hoping to have some sort of financial relief, but it, you know, with the censorship, with the YouTube taking my ad revenue, it's just, it's just, uh, it's battle after battle, but, um, I'll stop complaining for today. So I'll see you guys next week with hopefully, uh, some, uh, slightly better news of meat supply and, uh, things going on.